My journey just to get there was so up and down. From Fresno, I played with a small club team. I didn't get recruited by colleges to play soccer, um, or a lot of colleges. So it was Fresno State and Pepperdine were the two places that offered me a scholarship. For that moment, I was like, I guess I don't know if I'm good enough. Like, okay, I love the sport, but maybe I'm just, I have a different vision of myself than they do. So when I got to the pro level, I was like, I think I'm good enough, but there's all these amazing players. They've been in the system for so long, I haven't. And so when I got the MVP and the Golden Boot, I was like, oh my gosh, I guess I actually do know this. I am good enough, I can do this. And so it was just kind of a reassurance that I'm good enough to do this. But also, like, Lynn, don't second guess yourself all the time because just because you don't have the same journey as everybody else doesn't mean you're not good enough. For Williams, her magical season was a result of a lifetime of proving herself worthy, something she did once again when she got her first call up to the U.S. women's national team. I know I always have to fight for a chance to get on that roster or a chance to wear the crest. And so anytime I wear it, I'm so honored to put it on. I always have this thing that every time the national anthem goes on, there's a part of it where I like actually touch the crest. And then when, when the banner waves, I always go like this with my hands. And then I like really like hold it. And it reminds me that like, I'm in such a place that like a lot of people don't get to be in. And this is like the United States of America. This isn't something small. It's not something to take for granted. And the NWSL is such a huge platform for people to be seen with the national team. I think that some people who slip through the cracks, if somehow you end up on an NWSL team, like it's another way to be like, well, how did we miss her? I also think that in this league now, you see so much diversity, and I think it's so amazing that when I grew up, I saw obviously a lot of soccer players, but like I didn't see a lot of people that looked like me. There wasn't many women of color out there playing soccer. And so now when I look around the league, I'm like, you see everything from somebody who's Asian, somebody who's a Latino, somebody who's black, somebody who's white, and I'm like, this is so incredible. Not only are we growing this league for little girls to play soccer, but it's so diverse now. So I think it looks like a representation of the United States. And so if me and the rest of the NWSL, we can like pioneer this league for the next generation, like I'll look back and be like, you know what, I've, I've done something so incredible and that is so amazing. It's time to kick. Kick that ball 130 miles per hour. Kick up a sprint every 90 seconds. Kick that heart rate up 167 beats per minute and go 45 minutes straight, no timeouts.